Hello everyone, welcome back to my review channel. Uh, today I got another music review to do, um, but I want to start off by saying that I know I haven't been putting out any reviews lately, and uh, it's been mostly because I've just had other things I've been having to do and needed to do, and um, also I've got another computer, so I'm, I'm having to deal with like, hopefully this video will come out. If you see this video out, then you should see more videos like momentarily, really, like throughout the night. I'm just going to keep making videos, but I have to make sure this one can even be uploaded to my computer and to, onto YouTube. So I'm having to check with this. And uh, I really just want to get back into this as just keep trying to put it out as quickly as possible. But I'm sorry for being so late. I know it's been a while. Put up, I haven't put up any reviews, but I've been saving a lot of movies, music, and comics. And I'm going to start off with this. And like I said, if you see this, once you, if you see this video up, I'm going to have more uh, pretty almost instantly. Not instantly, but you know later tonight. Well, let's just start this off. This is going to be a music review CD from the band The Brownie. Um, I did a review from their first album, their last album they did, and is, if you remember, I think I said something like it was just subpar, it, it was packaged, like with a sticker that said this is new electronic dance core music, and it was just like more hardcore uh, style with like you could not hear any electronics to it. It was it's off, um, it was on Earache uh, Records, which is on Earache Records again tonight. It's Earache Records and Century Media with this this album, but um, the last album you couldn't hear any electronics, no keyboard, but with this album, you can. Every song you can hear electronics, keyboards in the song. It's great for that. Uh, that is leaps and bounds from their first album, which you couldn't hear anything. So now you they actually have a sense of, uh, it's, they're starting to get like some originality back in there. It doesn't sound like everything else on Earache Records. So kudos to the producer to make it actually sound like you can hear the electronics in every song. So that's good. That being said, that's probably the best thing about this album. Um, the, that's the pro, here's the cons. Uh, cons are, the lyrics are, again, subpar. Um, bands like this, when I was reading, look, opening the book, and I'm going to show you in a second a picture of a band, but when I was opening the book and looking at the lyrics, you could just see a lot of repetition. A lot of repetition. Like, he just, whenever he sings or, like, whatever, yells in the out uh, in the mic, he's just repeating the same thing most of the time. That comes off as boring and lack of originality. Um, and I, it's I, reading reading the book. It says all songs written by the vocalist uh, vocalist and the rest of the group, the Brownie, all written by Johnny B and the Brownie. Johnny B is the vocalist and electronics guy. Um, if you can't, I mean, four people in this band. If you can't, as a band, I don't know, first of all, I don't know why they have to put his name when he's part of the band and the band. That just comes off as, I don't know, not right to me. It's all songs written by the Brownie, not Johnny McBee and the Brownie. It's the fucking, the band isn't called Johnny McBee and the Brownie. So that's just what I want to say about that. Um, when, if you cannot write decent material, Four dudes in a band cannot write decent material where you're not like repeating yourself constantly with every song, then something needs to be done. You need to bring someone in who can write a damn song and not repeat themselves eight times in the same damn song. It's just rep too repetitious. Um, that's, that's a lacking point. Now, again, I want to state that just as a whole, this band could still be better. I mean, first of all, I don't want to say it's crap because the biggest thing they had to do was get the electronic keyboard sound into their music, and they did. They did wholeheartedly, and they did it well. Now, um, that is a very good, very big step on their behalf, but they still have some little things to do. That one being the lyrics. If the band actually like wrote some of this, it seems like one or two, one person maybe could just be saying <laughs> what I say goes, basically. And that's what he wants to say, but come on, put a little bit more effort in the lyrics, you guys. Um, don't let lyrics hold you back. Um, 
uh, now I want to mention the group photo. You get you get these bands and they put their group photos in the in the booklet. And sometimes it's just like, why did you do this? This is another thing probably the band shouldn't have done because it's just like, look at these guys. For, just look at these guys for a second. Let's see if I get a good picture. Okay, you see this guy? You say you know all they all have that obvious douchey looking hardcore metal act going on. They're like, hmm, I'm hard. I'm a hard metal guy. I have to look hard. Okay, can we step away from the typical BS photo shoot? Look at this guy. This guy in particular looked like he got up in the morning and realized that someone ate the rest of his fruity pebbles and he was pissed. He's just like, man, who, the, who ate the fruity pebbles? I'm pissed. I don't even know. I don't even want to go play today. I'm mad. That guy in particular. I just have to laugh at that, just because it's just funny. I mean, come on. Yes, there's no other band like you guys that do the same thing you do. Hardcore, um, electronic music that are serious. They're just like this effing serious. Horse the band, Dr. Acula, Arsonist Get All the Girls. Um, none of them are th this like hardcore douchey. They, most of the time, they just like to have fun. That's what it should sound like. But they're obviously too much into like, we're hardcore. I'm sorry, but you're just, you want to be more than just hardcore, you guys, okay? Seriously, you want to, you don't want to be stapled as just hardcore. You're obviously doing something that's different. Be different. Don't, don't be, don't be this. It's just sad. I mean, sometimes they shouldn't even put photos of the band because of the shit like this. I would say next time they do an album, no lyrics, no photo of the band, unless it's completely artsy, and well done by someone. It's not, it doesn't have to be drawings, it could be photos, it just be art done well. And that's what I think the band like this needs more than just like, let's put out all the lyrics to our songs. Especially if they come off as like, it even repeats in the, it even, even writes it like eight times in the booklet. Um, but yeah, there's that. I would say, let's, that's probably the worst. Um, the best song on here is hands down probably Gravedigger. Um, that's the best one. There's only really a few really good songs. After a while, they all start to again sound the same because the dude's just singing the exact same way he sings in the front. There's one or two songs for a sample of one or two songs he actually tries to sing. And that is a big no-no in my book when you're trying to sound different than everything else out there. Um, they're, they're like bands that are just yelling and singing and the same song is a dime a dozen nowadays. So try to be a little different, you guys, and don't start singing. Maybe instead you would do a little gurgle growling. That now that's pushing to you another a different level in the music scene. Now, other good songs would be uh, uh, let me see, Save the World, um, Industry, and Hypernova. Hypernova, Hypernova, sorry, is the name of the album. And but these are probably the best songs. They're like the the first song itself is an intro, so the next like four or five songs are like pretty much the good ones, in my opinion. Um, just check those out, but again, probably the best song, hands down, is Gravedigger. And the last song on the album is actually a remix of that song, Gravedigger, and it's okay. Um, but yeah, there we go. This was The Browning. This is what the douches like to think they should look like. I mean, I'm sorry, they're not really douchey, I don't know the people. It's just like, come on, you guys. What band doesn't do this? Seriously, what band doesn't, like, try to put out, like, I'm a hard image? Come on. Uh, but there we go. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day, and I'm going to, if you see this video, you're going to see another one very shortly. Thank you. Bye.